Greetings, this is Darth Vane and welcome back to Let's Play Planescape Torments. Okay. I'm gone. Where in the last episode we were we finished up what we were doing with Under Sigil. Now we could go back and use that as an experienced place. Or we could do, keep redoing the mo uh, Modron Cube. But yeah. I was hoping that we'd get reach level tw level twelve, so we can get the uh, so that we can get the thing we need. Well, I say need get the tattoo done that you get for getting becoming a master mage. Okay, oh no, we want that one. We just gone past it. going past it, there we go, because if we look at our journal, we haven't looked at this for a while, okay, And one of my journals in the ladies' mazes scrubbed and it was a piece of skin that had some insane ramblings on it. Wherever I was when I wrote this, I was definitely a few stones short of a portal. While in the module maze, I cannot reform my party. The maze were ever to reset or the difficulty level change. Anyone left in the maze would be killed. While in the module, I do not drop anything of importance. If the maze were ever to reset or the difficulty level change, anything left in the maze would be destroyed. I've learned the danger of names, but I wandered around inside Rubicon and encountered a stray Modron. When I spoke to him, he thought I was naming him. His new name is Mordom, and for Modron, he seems pretty unhinged. Something strange happened when I told Mordom that I was the new creative director of Rubicon. He seemed to become more stable. It's odd, but I think maybe establishing a new chain of command for Nordom helped him become, well, a little more focused. Maybe the loss of the Direct unhinged him more than I knew. Okay. Modron. This Modron seem Nordum. This Modron seems to be slightly different from the others you've seen. Carries a pair of crossbows in its four arms. It seems to be taking an active interest in your behaviour. We got got Dark got you, that hasn't cleared up. That hasn't cleared up. We're not doing that. We'll find the portal key, which is not a piece of Ravel. And all that. So we've got to prove Kasai Ceres that she's Ravel's daughter. That's what we've got to do. <laughs> now we know that... Let's have a look. Is it your, you, your... Uh, Kimaxi Edesung and Kimisai Ceres are, are half sisters. Oh, it's you again. Can't get enough of me, huh? I had some questions. I heard that Keris that Kesai Ceres is Revel's daughter. Is that true? She shouted, as far as I know, yes. She looked suddenly suspicious. Why? I asked her about it and she denied it. So, not as if it's any of your business in the first place. Perhaps not, I had another question. Okay. Never mind actually. So yeah, let's see if... Where is Kesiceris? Done. Try and see. you isn't it? Kesai, are you Revo's, are you Revo's da daughter? She suddenly bears her teeth and her, her eyes narrow into slits for blazing pins of what? Where'd you hear such a thing? Echo told me. Ridiculous, I think I'd know if that wicked hag was my own mother. Now stop bothering me about it. 
Who is your mother then? I don't know, all right? My father raised me. I never knew her. But do I look like a night hag to you? Well, there's the skin and the eyes and maybe the teeth too. Gareth has glares of your eyes, but perhaps we'll speak later. But I'm no longer in the mood. Farewell, okay. She denied it. Who are you? Hmm. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Huh. Try talking to the others. I'm gone. Many nine eyes. Some questions. I heard that Kesaiseris is Vero's daughter. Is that true? Updated my journal. Wait to me. Hmm. Maybe you could ask Juliet. She and Kesai used to be really good friends. Then Juliet met Montague, and now they don't talk so much. Okay. So let's talk to Sad. Let's go to Sad Juliet. It's Vivian. All right. Sad Juliet. I'm gone. I do wander around a bit. Delora. I'm gone. Julia, there we go. Sad Julia. See what you've got to say. Let's follow this. We've got to follow this chain thingy. Have you come you come to ask for questions of me, I take it. Yes I have. I heard Kesar Series is Ravel's daughter, is that true? Updated my journal. Ravel, hmm. Thought I heard this name. I'm not the truth, but I have heard of her. Found my wish to wish uh, to ask Kimsey Adton the very same question. Now a half sisters, you see. I say it's all I want to know. Farewell. Which makes me wonder. I'm gone. I mean, with the the quest updated thingies. Can we see at a time? Let's try now. I have questions. I heard your Kaiseris half sister. Is is that true? Yes, I'm related to that chubby mule in Hook Nose Daydreamer. Same father, different mothers. So, I was hoping you could help me find out if Kesai is really Ravel's daughter. Updated my journal. Makes you friends. Normally, I'd be loath to help you like this, but but, but I f have a feeling it, it upset that thirteen pruning doxy good and well. Tell her to ask our father. He's a powerful cambium, so that he ought to be able to call him right there and then. That'll get your answer. Cambion. Yes, Cambion. Kim Zexi rolled his eyes. Didn't hear me the first time. Ears were stopped up with the last year brains running out of them. I'm asking what one is. My, you're clueless. She shakes her head sadly, tapping her head on. A half thing, Burke. Sort of like you, but you're half dung, I think. You smell it anyway. Better than half, better than half you, Kim Axi. You wish you were half Kim Axi. So I'd, even if you ended up with a goat's bum on your shoulders, it'd be better than that scarred fuck face of yours. I don't have time to get into this. Farewell. Okay. Did you just moonwalk? Done. <laughs> Good. 
there's Kim, there's Kaiseris. Okay, I had some questions. Guess I, I talked to Kimaxi, she told me she's your half sister and that Rev was your mother. Carl Snow's eyes by saying, that, that the hell is, I know I love that woman. Why would you even believe that sort of trap? She says that you deny it and in fact, you may not know it, but that is true. She said you could ask her father, that he would tell you. Updated my journal. Kai stares at you silently for a time. Give me a moment. And she turns from you and begins to mutter softly. The air seems to shimmer around her slightly and fill with a coppery smell like warm bud. Strain your ears, trying to overhear what she's saying. You lean to August, attempt to hear what she's muttering. Hagen has the banished Prince of Ifeg, Marquis upon the blood shadow. My father, hear me out before I call upon you. Okay, you listening. Yes, beloved father, it is I, Kaiseris. I would bid you answer me a question, one question I've asked you time and again. Yes, beloved father, I cannot bear to have another ask me and not know myself. You must tell me. I've asked for nothing save this. Tell me, I beg you. Yes, yes, beloved Arthur, oh, thank you, farewell. Well, what did he have to say? Cassai remains turned away from you a moment. We'll finally come on. Do not to believe that wicked hag may have been my mother. I have lived long, I do not appear to age, and I have disturbing dreams sometimes, she shudders, but still. I do not wish to be the inheritor of the evil she has caused, nor draw the lady's gaze as my mother did. Such evil things she did. Tell me what you know of her, will you? I heard that she would pose impossible riddles to people, riddles she could answer but no one else could. She would devour the person if they answered incorrectly, or leave them dangling in their horrifying gardens as examples, gardens as examples to all. Those few who somehow escaped the tormented she tormented in her dreams, riding them like steeds, breaking their wheels and hurling their souls into the colourless oblivion of the Great Waste. Go on. Her magic was said to be beyond anything most had ever seen. It was imagination woven from nightmare and given substance. Stone, solid shapes bent to her will like soft clay. The laws of the plains would bend beneath her feet and from nothing she could weave illusion. An illusion we realities that could horrify and kill and confound. Go on. She was a mistress of all the dark arts, mistress and master of them all. She hounded a governor who dared quote Sigil Law to her with shadows and devoured him all but his tongue, his fingers and the flesh of his face. She turned mercy killers inside out and shattered buildings of those of those who displeased her. Terrible tell powers were at her command. Go on. She changed her shape like water and could use it to destroy for some, some for amusement and to steal knowledge from others. She was a monster, like all that had been spawned from the grain, grey waste. In the end, she threatened to open the cage and let the fury of the plains come rolling in like a wave. Fortunately, she did not succeed. She existed solely to cause malice. I do not know if she is dead, but I now know now that she was my mother. In case I started stomach in the head down there. Oh, that I had the tears so that I could weep with sorrow. Try and comfort her. She suddenly falls into your arms, shuddering as if she were to wreck the souls. For a time, Kess, I simply stand there, clinging to you. But she pushes away. Thank you, but I'll be fine. I just need some time to think about it, that's all. I hate to ask this now, but I need you to give me a piece of yourself, Kess. She looks at Alarm, pardon? The portal key to Raoul's maid is a piece of her and you are of her blood. It is close enough. Kessai gobs. You intend to seek her out? As surprise quickly changes to an expression of weariness. What what would you need of me? The blood most likely. Only a drop or two, I'm sure. She nods. But do you have some way to carry it? A piece of cloth like a handkerchief or something, you know? Yes, here. Updated my journal. Okay, so it takes the handkerchief and gingerly pricks it on the top finger of one of her fangs. 
on one of them. After letting several drops of blood soak into the cloth, she returns to you. You're placing yourself in grave danger, you know. Even if the stories of my mother were c are completely exaggerated, she's horribly powerful and completely evil. Good luck. Yes, so I've heard. Thanks and farewell. <laughs> so, we've got the portal key. We've got the unfolding portal. Let's get out of here. As we head into Ravel's Maze. I'm gone. But I think we're going to pick up a few bits. All right. First. I mean, we should be able to get to Ravel's Maze from anywhere. We're carrying the unfolding ball. Basically, Gravel's a sneaky blighter, and therefore we're going to want to have that, the highest intelligence we can. And the highest wisdom we can, so let's have a look. Wisdom, law, saving throws. Yep, that should be alright. Alright. Let's get this party started. So the shimmering piece of filigreed metalwork that you picked up at the Great Foundry it looks almost gauzy. Sharp edge pride from it. You have no idea where it goes right now, but it must be important if you commissioned it for yourself. All you need to, act to activate is to find the proper key to use. You unfold the shimmering metal and immediately it begins crackling with life. It begins forming itself into a metallic circle hovering in the air. There's something in your possession that has activated this portal. You get the thing that you probably ought to make sure you have everything you need. You might not be back in sigil for a long time. Okay, let's step through the portal. I'm gone. Strike. 
Shiawase. Shiawase. All right. Damn it. Did you see that? Processing. Plant life is not indigenous to structure. All right. I'm gone. Lend me strength. All right. Done. I'm a little out of practice. I'm a little out of practice, it seems. All right. I'm gone. I'm gone. Done. efficient strike. Detected. Done. Maximally efficient strike. I'm gone. Done. Done. Did you see that? Gone. All right. Done. Did you see that? Done. Done. See 
dead. She always say. She always say. All right. I'm gone. Done. There's Revel. We are going to do Revel in the next episode. Let's see what she's got to say for herself. So, this has been Darvain doing Let's Play Planescape Torment. If you like what you're seeing here, be sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Please consider sponsoring me on Patreon. And until next time, goodbye.